Okay, the, what's the problem with subset selection? As we have already discussed, it's a you know it's, it's problematic when you have high dimension uh, or when the number of features is greater than 20. It is like very difficult to uh, you know do the computation. It's almost impossible, right? So base subset selection is impossible when uh, p is greater than 20, and that's where uh, you're going to use uh, what is known as steep voice selection and there are three types of steep voice selection one is forward steep voice approach backward steep voice approach and then third one is hybrid approach so the forward steep voice approach uh, is like this we start with a null model and then you keep on adding predictors or features to the model one at a time this is important to remember and choose the best model among the best of k based on RSS okay now you remember how you took k right when k equal to n sorry k equal to 1 you have p number of models right because with x1 you can have one model with x2 you can have one model to xp you can have another. so you have p number of models in such way so one of these models will be the best right when k equal to 2 then you take two variables at a time x1 x2 then x1 x3 and so on and then we'll have one model from that right so we have shown that here in this table so when a one variable model uh, let's say x1 is the one that gives you the best model okay now what happens is if that gives the best model then that is retained in the model it's never gets dropped okay so in forward uh, stepwise you retain that model and it's highlighted in uh, you know in bold okay when it's a two variable model subset selection gives you x1 and x3 okay in forward we just added x2 and saw whether that is actually working fine or not because for a two variable model x1 x2 does uh, a good job so we just added x2 and once that retains in the model that never gets dropped so in the third model we have x1 x2 but x3 was not part of it which literally went ahead with x4 and the fourth model with four number of variables you can see x1 x2 x4 and x5 okay so there is no x3 so x3 got dropped here and you do not uh, have x3 so x3 did not meet what is known as an entry criteria okay but that's not the case in subset selection. In subset selection, you can see variables having different selection. Like in one variable case, you have x1. In two variable case, you have x1, x3. In three variable case, you have x3, x1, x3, x4. In fourth variable case, you have x1, x2, x3, and you know x5. So what happens is that a variable can be part of it, or you know it it can. Uh, be not part of in the next model whereas in forward step voice selection if it is there in one variable selection it will definitely be there in two variable selection right now if you look at subset selection here x4 is there part of three variable model but it's not part of four variable model so that will never happen it's not part of variable. you can see there's no x4 here but here with three variable it's there but that will never happen in forward step voice. in forward step voice you can see if it's their part of it's their part of the three variable model all three variable x1 x2 and x4 are a part of four variable model here you can see x1 x2 and x4 they're all part of the fourth variable model so here uh, four variable model sorry three variable model is just a subset of four variable model second two variable model is a subset of three variable model and one variable model is just a subset of two variable model so that's the difference slightly confusing but when we actually do it it is going to be clearer in forward step wise uh, the selection is constrained because you cannot have just random selection of variables you cannot have just x1 with x2 and so on and then x1 with x3 the x2 is there in the previous model it has to be there in the next model so then what happens is that you already have x1 x2 so the only diff selection that you will be making the three variable model is that just choose whether it's x3 or whether it's going to be x4 or x5 
so the number has come down right because it's constrained now the first two places is already taken because it's coming from the second variable model right but in subset selection you can have any permutation permutation come any combination and that could be a number of uh, such cases so less candidate models are there for selection and it comes down to you know instead of you know exponential number where you know it was p2 to the power p as we have seen in the subset selection now it has come down to 1 plus p multiplied to p plus 1 divided by 2 so this is much much less compared to this one sorry so this is this is uh, very high dimension compared to this one especially for given p greater than 20 this is uh, very easy right so when p equal to 10 when p equal to 10 in stepwise that we just discussed in forward stepwise we have 211 model 211 model whereas in subset selection just because you have just too many combinations and there is no constraint right so remember the constraint we talked about that you know the third variable model has to be the subset of the fourth variable model similar the second variable model is the subset of third variable model right that constraint is not there hence in subset selection we have over a million models so estimating million models is very tough whereas estimating 211 models is comparatively much easier right